Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, October 6, 2024. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I, I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. <laughs> and that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast of Indeterminate Length, episode number 757. And no, we are not in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> although I'm it's not, also the wrong right time of the year moment. and is it i don't think that's it's, it's, Provin- it's town, province town which is a different province place town. but all i can think of is providence of rhode island so <laughs> <laughs> yeah province town is the massachusetts you know p town yeah. i mean but it's that bear week not just bear week so would that be in a different place? That part. <laughs> Is it Fat Bear Week? Well, uh, technically, yes, it is. As we're recording this, it is. Ah. Because it is currently uh, through the 8th of October. Ah. So for those that don't know, we're going to have a little conversation about a thing that's happening in which real life mashes up against social media like gay culture so fat bear week is a real thing (laughs) well but this is this is the whole like meme sensation stuff so october 2nd through the 8th this year which today is october 6th so we are in the midst of the the last leg no pun intended of fat bear week um so yeah um <laughs> this is so strange go ahead so here's the thing um i i thought about this like this was sort of not a last minute thing but this was not the original plan for today's show but because of the timing i was like well we have to do it now um <laughs> so some of the largest brown bears on earth make their home in the brooks river in i think it's called pronounced cat national park in alaska So brown bears get fat to survive because they hibernate. And Fat Bear Week is an annual tournament that celebrates their success in preparing for winter hibernation. So this is about real life brown bears bulking up big time to prepare for hibernation. And so the National Park Service, along with, uh, you know, avid enthusiasts literally like vote on their preference between two bears typically each day actually i think it's two sets of two bears each day in a bracket system as to which bear they want to move on and ultimately someone is crowned the winner of fat bear week so it's a bear contest yes Thousand points to Damon. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, so, I'm playing by whose line is it anyway rules where the points are made up or, or everything's made up and the points don't matter. Yes. Except for the fact yeah. that the topic is not made up. Right. No, and that's just it. Like, like I'm surprised kind of in a way that we haven't discussed this before. Given that it's been around for about a decade now, Mm. if I recall correctly, Um, I'm going to check real quick. So we're going to have a whole series of links on the website. Yeah, it started in 2014. 
Um, it's the Hall of Champions. So it's this is the eleventh year. Um, yeah. So like, there's always a, there's there's a winner picked every single year. Um, last year had over one point three million votes cast collectively throughout. That is such a thing. Anyway, yes, keep going. It, it is a real absolute thing. Um, more than a million votes had been cast in 2022. In 2021, it was 800,000 votes. In 2020, it was 640,000 votes. So it's been picking up, you know, as the years go on, more and more people become invested in this thing. Um, matchups are open for voting the second through the eight between 12 and 9 p.m. Eastern or nine to six um, Pacific time here in the U.S., um, it's a single elimination tournament for each matchup. You vote for the bear you believe that best exemplifies fatness and success, whatever you think that is, in brown bears. The bear with the most votes advances to the next round, and only one will be crowned Fat Bear Week champion. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just. I'm having thoughts, I'm having feelings, I'm having some, like, I'm questioning things. You're having a much feels... harder time on this than I would think you would. For, for, I, for I, something that, just... is, that is a silly thing that the National I, Park I, Service is doing to promote yeah. conservation. I think that's what it is. It's just like, wow, there's a lot going into this. But I then I go, okay, it makes sense. Right. And again, it's something fun and 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 harmless. I would probably say that harmless in a way. Because, I mean, I, I doubt the Bears know that they're getting voted on. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think there's going to be Right. Some disappointed bear that got last place that's just sitting in a corner crying because they lost. Like, I don't think that's going to be a thing. No, no. Um, it's not that kind of bear contest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, right. They don't even know they've ed been entered. Right. Like, it's an just... honor just to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've broken Damon already. We're a couple <laughs> minutes into the episode. So oh, from the website, it explains getting fat before winter is the goal. Yet brown bears find success and overcome hardship in many ways. Mother bears must feed, nurture, and protect their cubs. An older bear can have difficulty finding access to preferred fishing spots due to competition with larger and younger bears. Oh. Large adult males maintain their high rank in the hierarchy by challenging competitors. Cubs and sub-adults, as in teenagers, um, as bears grow proportionally more each year than even the biggest adults. You can also vote for the bear you think is the largest and fattest. Out of so context? in short... Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish. So in short, Fat Bear Week is a subjective competition. And this is where I think things kind of went a little sideways on them this year. To predict your fat bear winner and campaign for your favorite candidate, use hashtag fat bear week on social media. Ah. Uh, now, we don't know if they were doing that last year or the year, any year prior. But if this was a new it's thing to kind of drum up interest. <laughs> You'll be no, nah, never mind. I just I feel like you're gonna I'm get a doing lot this of on my porn account too. Ah, well, there go. we're gonna get into that. Just, <laughs> just you wait, we're gonna get just to that. You wait. Uh, so, um, no, it's okay. So, uh, on the more serious side, cat mice, brown bears are fattest in the late summer and early fall. It is the end product of a summer long effort to satisfy their profound hunger and prepare, prepare for winter hibernation. So during hibernation, bears do not eat or drink and they lose approximately one third of their body weight. Their winter survival depends on accumulating ample fat reserves before entering the den. So in other words, they bulk up and then they go on a calorie deficit diet as in they sleep the winter away. So the fat store is what has to sustain them through the winter months. 
Um, it goes on to explain to get fat, bears gorge on the richest, most accessible foods they can find. And in Katmai National Park, that often means salmon. Dozens mm. of bears gather at the Brooks River to feast on salmon from late June until mid-October. Perhaps no other river on Earth offers bears the chance to feed on salmon for so long. Therefore, fat bears are successful bears because this is a wild region that is home to more brown bears than people. And it's the largest, healthiest run of sockeye salmon left on the planet. Wow. Yeah. So I'm sure there's <laughs> plenty of fat bears that enjoy salmon. Mm -hmm. I'm not You're not one of them. them. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we established that. Um, that's so funny. I was thinking about having salmon this weekend. We had, anyway, just, just random aside, totally. Well, you could have well, it on Tuesday. I could, yeah. A celebration mm -hmm. in honor of Fat Bear Week. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I might do it tomorrow night because the local bears group is going to meet up for our monthly dinner. So if salmon's on ah, the menu, I might just order it and then, you know, crack a joke go. about how I'm, I'm supporting my brethren in Fat Bear Week and then watch everybody not really know what I'm talking about. And then I have to explain it all. And then I can point them back to this podcast episode when it comes out later this week. Yeah, it's so interesting. This is and one I of think the it... shows where we need to do like a clips, a, a, a make a short somehow. I don't know how to do that, but <laughs> just, just shorts where we just cut out the, the innuendos, the, the great out of context. Right. So this, I, I'm, I'm very, I don't want to say intrigued. I'm, I'm interested. This has piqued my interest as it were, this idea, this concept this bear, fat bear week. Mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting that this is something that, this is a thing, it's a thing that happens. And um, it's been happening for a while and people are, are have always, always probably always been interested and invested in it. Um, and it's kind of become its own sort of thing unrelated to you know conservationism and bears and and national parks and all of that stuff it is it is gotten away from that in a ways and here we are well so i think there's there's a bifurcation like so there's two big camps there's this long term over a decade online like conservation focus like and probably had a lot of people in the early years that were invested in like the future of the brown bears and like this kind of silly thing that they put together as a way to like, you know, represent and show what's happening in nature. And then somewhere along the line, we came along. <laughs> So my, my, on my our quick website, comment on this is it's what we do. Because yes. <laughs> we just can't That's help true. ourselves. So on our website is going to be a few links. So you'll have a, a link to the Fat Bear Week website um, itself. There's also going to be a link to the to support the Kemi Conservancy. You can buy some merch online. They have a bunch of stuff um available currently what i find interesting because we're learning about this obviously um is on their shop they have a whole bunch of coming soon items such as a 2025 fat bear calendar um the 2024 fat bear champ t-shirt and hat there's also going to be a mug for people like jeff who love mugs um there's going to be a i voted t-shirt for the 2024 fat bear um and also a sticker uh, a pin. Yeah. There's a board game apparently that's coming. They have oh hoodies and t shirts. Um, yeah. Merchandising. Like they, Merchandising. Exactly. They are they are all in on this. Um there's also wow. some cute like animation, like kind of cartoon uh oh. shirts. Adorable. Yeah. Oh, there's water a bottles, beanie. you name it. There's a beanie. There's books. There's a there's a pl uh, a plush 
toy with a salmon in its mouth? <laughs> no. Quilted blankets, ornaments. Yeah. This is something else. Yeah. It's it's Oh, those ornaments are cute. Yeah, they're fun. Oh. So if you need an idea for the holiday season, you could help a conservancy and have a cute gift to give to somebody. There you go. Yeah. In that case. But so I was like, um, I just thought that was fun. It says on the website, every purchase you make in the online shop helps preserve the amazing wildlife, unique ecosystems, stunning landscapes, and rich natural and cultural reserves of the Katmai National Park Preserve. We're committed to minimizing our environmental imprint or footprint, so we work hard to provide sustainable, eco-friendly products and packaging. Mm. And the things yeah. are, you know, kind of your average price for things you want to buy online that are, you know, yeah, custom made. Keeping in mind that this is for, you know, charity, basically. Yeah, that's so fun. That is cute. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna keep looking at that, or else I'll keep looking and probably buy something uh, <laughs> i need to take a minute for my wallet's sake uh, yes for my wallet's sake i'm <laughs> taking a step away um yeah but again i think it's a fun idea and it's a concept and they have rolled with it and um i do appreciate i don't want to call it a gimmick because it's not that i do appreciate a well thought out marketing plan that's what I think this is. Um, and I think it's sweet. I think it's cute. I think it's it's a great way to keep attention on something that, you know, um, nature that we don't often think about. Right. Well, and, and so there's an article um, that Lloyd, one of our patrons, actually recently shared um, that um, we're going to have linked as well. It's from 2023 last year, which was the 10-year anniversary of – uh, fat bear week and the the article is titled fat bears teddy bears and gay bears oh my um and it's from the it's been a minute series and Brittany loose uh has a half hour uh episode but in the article they go on and they talk a little bit about this and um the media ranger uh, naomi book talks about the fact that it's a 35 percent survival rate for cubs in their first year and that's kind of why they're bringing attention to this because um, if if you think about it, if only a third of the cubs that are born every year survive the winter, and like some of that has to do with how much their fat reserve is, mm -hmm. you can understand why they're like. She says, um, "It's rooting for bears and celebrating the success of the ecosystem." Basically, yeah. Now, in the same article, uh, it goes on towards the end and talks about the gay bear community. Um, I we didn't have time, at least I did not have time to listen to the half hour like actual article where they finally get around to talking about this. It, so it's kind of interesting. There's a reference to um you know, the concept of undertaking an animalistic form that it's liberating um and that it like is assimilated for gay masculinity um I'm just paraphrasing. I'm yeah. not sure this is the best representation. But anyways, <laughs> um, I might listen to it later. Well, he's, a, he's, a, he's a lecturer. He, he may not, the person who's talking may not be involved in the community or engaged in the community. They just may be aware of the community. That's true. So that's the premise uh, of, you know, the, the reality. Now, Here's how this came on my radar. This circles back around to what Jeff said, because he was going to jump on Twitter and he was going to type in the hashtag and see what comes up right on your adult account. And this is how it came into my purview for the past week, because I was just scrolling along, mm -hmm. looking at like the things that people post and mine is a bit of a menagerie. So it's political stuff. It's anime, it's pop culture, it's comics, it's Dick, it's bellies. It's like video links to my only fans, my just for fans, my whatever I'm going live on Chatterbait, blah, 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 blah. And that's not me saying that about myself. So y'all calm down. 
Um, <laughs> that's just what the posts are saying of the people that I happen to be following. If not, and then I, if I started. <laughs> And then I started noticing that hashtag fat bear week was a thing. And I was like, am I missing something? Right. So I was the same way. <laughs> this was the beginning of my revelation that the gays have stepped in. <laughs> so for my co host if you haven't looked ahead, I added a whole series of links on the article to Twitter yeah. specifically. Um, and we'll just start at the first one and work our way down. So the first one is okay. titled God Bless America. Which is cute. Which is really <laughs> kind of silly. And by the way, a whole bunch of these, some of these are going to be a response to the National Park Service on October 2nd posting a Twitter post that said, the quote-unquote wait, as in W-E-I-G-H-T, is over. Happy hashtag Fat Bear Week. And, of course, we had to, like get involved so this one is a response of somebody saluting a flag but instead of it being the u.s flag it's the bear pride flag (laughs) (sighs) so that is just the beginning right i saw fat bear week and i was like is there a run that i'm missing is there like an event that's happening is 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 this a thing that is going on and if so where mm-hmm. um and and how much does it cost <laughs> like, <laughs> like just, just thinking as the my says where i didn't i saw this as i was um just randomly scrolling through twitter as one does and right. i just saw like fabric we can and if i'm remembering correctly i don't think it was a an actual um direct reply to the National Park Service one. It was just sort of like using the hashtag. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. And you see it and you see the picture and it's probably some, you know, big belly bear, you know, doing something coyishly shy or sexy or whatever. And I go, okay, cool. And I didn't think anything of it. But then I saw another one and I was like, okay. And then I saw a third and I was like, is there an event? <laughs> And then you're like, this is trending. What's going yeah. on? <laughs> and should I be involved or should I participate? <laughs> right. So the second one uh, is starting down the rabbit hole, so to speak. Um, and it's, and it's I just titled it Calling All Bears. Um, it's from at serve. It says Calling All Bears, retweet or comment below for roll call, hashtag Fat Bear Week. Um, and this happens to be a ginger bear who's pulled up his shirt um, and is showing off all his fur and his nice chest. Yeah. Um, he's wearing yellow flying ducky like lounge pants. I don't think he'll survive um, the winter. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps he's not trying to hibernate, but or he'll maybe he'll find another bear to hibernate with. That's true. Or two. That's or true. Or three. Or more. You never know. Yeah. Um. And the next one in our list is actually a reply to that very post from at P B and J that's P E E B E E the letter N and J A E. Um, Yes. And then he's uh, did a selfie with his shirt lifted up, showing off his um, chest and big belly as a response. Um, So this, this is, you know, this became indicative. Right. This is indicative Ooh. of what happens to us. Yes. So then we move on. So just so everybody knows, I've got a list of over a dozen of these links that we're going to uh, kind of discuss. Um, and then we've <laughs> got from at Ginger Cub 316, it says happy um, hashtag Fat Bear Week. Uh, yeah. Which he is a Ginger Cub and he is wearing nothing. No. And he took a selfie from below looking up at him sitting. Yeah. He's very much doing the, I'm covering, I'm being um, coy by covering my cock with my hand, even though you know it's there. You can see the there. nice ginger cubic, cubic hair. Yes. You can also, if you wanted to, count the freckles I on mean, the skin, but you know. <laughs> I don't have time for that. 
<laughs> to you. Um, next up is I, I just called it part two. Um, just because a lot of these say the same thing over and over again. So this one is at, uh, I got to figure out how to say this one. It's Yontelli DGZ. I'm not really sure. Um, it says happy um, hashtag fat bear week. Uh, this gentleman happens to be in the gym and he's working out. Yeah, he's bulking he's up some, in a different way. Yes, he's got some lovely big thick thighs. Mm-hmm. Which is very prominent in the picture. He's just doing a chest pull, you know. Just, you know, looking good. As you do. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then next up is um, at he was a gainer boy. Um, celebrate hashtag fat bear week by rubbing a fat bear's belly. And so he just uh, is pantless. He's wearing nothing. He's when he pooing it, basically. Uh-huh. Um, and he just pulled his shirt up. Yeah. Yep. I like that. And if you have access to my <clears throat> my Twitter account, I mean, I'm retweeting all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's giving his um his approval of these. Um, so uh, then after that, we've got uh, at joyless underscore hearts who says, should I join y'all? Because buy bears are real. Hashtag fat bear week. Oh, um, it's true. So there's a picture of him uh, in the bathroom, presumably at home um, with his shirt opened and jeans showing off his fur. Um, but he also has two other pictures that he included. One was the bear pride flag. And then what he did was he took the bisexual pride flag and put a bear paw on it. Yes. Which I thought was fun. I know some bisexual bears. There are more and more of them, it seems, every... I was going to say day, but that's not probably fair. Like every <laughs> week or month, it seems, I'm finding online. uh uh-huh. Um, and then there's, uh, at Chrome, at Chromed END, Chromed END, I think, uh, Marco yeah. says, happy hashtag fat bear week to those who celebrate. And he took a picture of himself, uh, either getting, I think he's about to get into the shower. I can't quite tell. I don't think he's dried off, but maybe, um, and it's a strategic picture because it cuts off <laughs> at a very specific uh, Just a point. little bit. Yeah. You can see the base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right. So, um, after that, we have at Fat Kitty sixty five. That's P H A T for fat. Um, and it says furry boy. Uh, that's boy B O I I I. And this really cracked me up, even though the pictures are backwards. <laughs> the, he's wearing a T shirt that says two seater. And it has an up arrow and a down arrow. So the up arrow is pointing towards his face and the down arrow is pointing towards his. For those of you that can't see the video feed, David is giving golf claps, like quite yeah. the tweets, like, you know, yeah. applause for the ingenuity. Yeah. Look at you. Go ahead. Yeah. He, and his, he's got to do something about that camera or make sure to edit his photos because that camera put his picture so I yeah, know it took me, me. Uh, until you actually said what the second word said it took me a moment to figure out what the shirt even said because oh. it's backwards that's true yeah I don't know why when some people take pictures I don't know why it captures the picture in reverse like like the way they see it on their screen is is mirrored or whatever so you see it correct but for some reason when it saves it it saves it to the flip and I don't know why it's a setting you can yeah. change. Yeah, I just took a picture of myself and I was like cuz it does it and I'm like oh no it doesn't it actually does mine did flip it so I took, literally just took a selfie of myself and mm-hmm. it cuts my shirt and I was like oh it just does it correctly. Anyway, that being said, yeah. So anyways, in his second picture, he's laying down and he pulled his um, shirt up and starts pulling his pants down. Showing right. off his tattoos and that. So yeah. Um, so there's that. Uh, after that is to all who celebrate. Um, 
This is from at ticklish bear. He's showing off his big belly. He's very furry. Mm-hmm. Um, very so yeah. Furry. Yeah. Um, and then after that is um, at pizza dogs. That's uh, after the dogs three Z's. It says happy hashtag fat bear week. If y'all want to support this fat bear, I accept compliments, supportive messages and monies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, just put it out there. You never know. Um, and it's a series of photos of him uh, showing off. He's got big, luscious hair on his Not head. Hair. Long, long, yeah. luscious, like wavy, curly hair. Um. But he's busy showing off his belly and his uh, her suitness. Yeah. So All the right. part that I'm appreciating about these posts is basically that people are really getting into the spirit of like just being uh-huh. you know, silly and yeah, going on to that. Next up is at Connor D Ferguson and says, "Happy hashtag Fat Bear Week to everyone, even the haters and losers." Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so there's something about that. Um, he happens wonder, to have pulled up his shirt okay. showing off his chest and stomach. Go ahead, Damon. Huh. I wonder if he did said haters and losers because his was on October 3rd, which was Bean Girls Day. <gasps> oh, meta. Maybe. Could be. No, Very this will is be. Twitter. Uh, puns, 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 puns. <laughs> Next up is uh, at small nerd potato, who said, "I heard something about hashtag Fat Bear Week," um, and so he lifted up his shirt to show off his belly. Oh, um, but he's also showing off a little bulge going on <laughs> with his um, like aqua teal boxer briefs. So very yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under the covers, maybe, or a blanket or some kind. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. Eh, well, yeah. Cute. Anyway. And then, as we're getting ready to wrap up just this example of, of the social media sphere this week, at Daddy Andy 92 said, finally, y'all, it's time. It's my time to shine. Happy hashtag Fat Bear Week. Um, and I was very intrigued with this because he's wearing... A t-shirt, but the t-shirt, if you remember this back in the day, we used to like cut our shirts up the sides. Muscle and, shirt kind of. Right. Yeah. Like you'd remove the sleeves and then you'd cut the sides down. And basically you would create this kind of shirt thong, <laughs> like <laughs> hybrid yeah. thing. And so he's wearing that, but he's wearing a bracer harness underneath mm-hmm. um, to keep his shorts up, which he's still wearing. Uh is it keeping the shirts up or is it connected to something? Because the shirts have an elastic band. I think they're keeping the shorts up. Okay. But Damon thinks they're <laughs> connected, might be to, connected something to something we can't yeah, see. I, I, I can see where, where where he's coming from. Yeah. I've like I've I've seen a similar like harness slash, you know, whatever this like harness kind of thing for this and it's sometimes connected to a um a dock piece but there would need to be something connecting the dock piece to the body so i'm uncertain i think damon you are correct but that's Mm -hmm. only because i isolated the picture and then zoomed in and looked and that metal bracket Mm-hmm. Is connected to something that we can't see that's under his belly. And you are correct; yeah. these shorts are elastic, so it is not the yeah. shorts that it's keeping up. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I have to go to your close view. Let's you just know, see our internet sleuthing that we uh-huh. do. Let's just look at your media, Daddy Andy. Come on, 
do, do, do. Oh, that's some balls in your face. Or anyway, um, this uh-huh. boy's in Kentucky. Uh huh. Uh huh. See him wearing it again. Okay, still under the belly. It is not connected to his shorts. I can tell that much. You're trying connected to see if you could spot the. Uh... Yeah. Well, I found another picture um, with him wearing the harness. Oh my. Um. And he's got the shorts on, but it is clearly like the shorts are drawstring. So, and it doesn't look like they're connected. We're doing a lot of sleuthing today. Yeah, it's hard to tell because he's, and you can't find one where he's like wearing just it wearing the harness. Yeah. I mean, he's you're wrong. Like, he's adorable. Um, why do I do I know you? Are you you're in Kentucky. Where are you in Kentucky? Are you just in Kentucky? Okay. I don't know. You look familiar. As I keep like as I've started like going through things. Mm-hmm. Ha 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 ha. And nothing else. Maybe you've been to NAB. He's hella cute. Yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> I have I going to follow. <laughs> um <laughs> anyways, he yeah, um sorry. also has another post, which will be our last of our links, um, in which he said it's still hashtag fat bear week. So here's a little more of this hashtag fat bear to celebrate. Don't forget to wear your safety orange with all those bears out there. Oh, God. So ah. in, in classic style, he is wearing an orange jock um, with a hat that says woof across the front of it. The underside of the brim is flannel, and he has a sleeveless flannel shirt on that is open. So, you know, it is quite the homage back to our youth. <laughs> A bear in sleeveless flannel wearing a woof, something with woof on it. Groundbreaking. (laughs) I will say, I like his jock. Yeah, I know that. It says gruff pup is the label on the front of it. They do some stuff. (laughs) Wow, that's not it. Really, Damon? Yeah, listen to me. I've seen their stuff before. Let me rephrase. Like they yeah. do jocks and oh, I wonder if do they have no, a I'm social not. media presence? Like graph stuff? Yeah, I'm I looking. Oh, and I have them blocked. That's nice. Graph pop. <laughs> yeah, for some reason I blocked them. Probably because people were sharing a lot of their stuff and I just got annoyed. Yeah. Um, or overwhelmed. Yeah, they're 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 while they have decent sizes, well, they don't have decent sizes. Um, their sizes don't go very high. Like their two XL is only forty-two inches, thirty-eight. Uh, so I remember. I remember now. I was like, there was something about them. I was like, I don't know if I'm a big fan of their. Yeah, brand. I'm looking at their media, and all their pictures for the most part are like more trimmer built, muscular kind of guys. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Huh? Well, they have a jock with a zipper down the front, and it works. <laughs> they also apparently make something called a pocket jock strap, mm-hmm. where you can put things in the waistband mm. above the oh, front I, pouch. I see that. I found that on their site. Yeah. Oh, easy release. That's funny. The one, so I'm on their site, and the one mm-hmm. that's um, got the zipper down the front is called Easy Release. Well, of course it is. Zipper. Can't. I wonder if they have. You got to have, you know, cheeky marketing, of course. Of course. But look at them. I'll go ahead. Anyway. Yeah. But it's adorable. I mean, the, and he's adorable. Like, going back to the post. And, Yeah. God, you look so familiar. 
Huh. Anyway. So yeah. Um <sighs> But of course we're going to co-opt something that's meant to be, you know, for nature and charity and conservancy and, you know, for all the greater good. And we're just going to, you know. Co-opt it for our sexual and pornographic purposes. Yeah. Because we're going to celebrate the male form, you know? Yes. And I think it's, I mean, I think it's a good thing and I think it's a cute thing. I get that it, it coalesced in a way. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This this seems like totally something that the gay bear community would do. You talk mm-hmm. about bears, we're essentially going to be making a pun. <laughs> yeah. So very true. I mean, That's just true. all of our regular stuff is stuff when we we have bears, we use the bear paw, we use the like anthropomorphic bears we use regular bears bears are all over the place and our regular merchandising and advertising and and just uh-huh. symbology of the bear community so when you're talking and because bears well there's plenty of fat bears which we appreciate well here we are uh-huh. so yeah that's all. Okay. That's fair. That's all. Just, just that, you know, yeah. we couldn't help ourselves and we had to, like, take it, get I, all involved in it. So, yeah, I do think it's, it's a great idea on the nature con- conservative conser- conservation side. Ooh, first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do also think it's a great idea. To be like it's a, in a way, it's just being very body positive, you mm-hmm. know. Um, for many, um, the word fat is often a negative, it's often seen as a negative, and for some, it still is. Um, but for many of us, we have taken that word and spun it into something, you know, more fun more more body positive more friendly and um enjoyable right we're reclaiming our word there you go there you go yeah and like these posts here i mean i'm sure they're just a sampling of what was out there um and i'm i'm i was it was a good thing to see i enjoyed it i know i mean I'm a little biased because this is my sort of gig with the bear and bodies and bellies and um, it's our gig. loving on that. But yeah, I mean, there is a reason that on X hamster, one of the popular categories is right along the side sidebar is fat. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah. With that, oh. are, are I think, we? I think that's do we have end. anything else? Anything else? Anything else, Gary? No, that no, was a, just basically a... it. That this yeah. came onto my porn feed basically this week, and I was like, <laughs> I, I, talk about I, it I was like, like, well, it's timely. Well, I was like, I was really intrigued at like, you know, for the body positivity part. But then, of course, you know, David had a different interpretation. He was like, is there an event going on? I don't know about it. Like, <laughs> well, am I missing out on a bear run or something? <laughs> is somebody trying to, to create feet? That's the thing is, Bear Week is in Providence Town. Well, Fat Bear Week could be in Providence. <laughs> there you go. Oh. And any or case, anywhere that, that you see bears yeah. frolicking. Uh, maybe like as long as it's kind of in the north and the cooler temperatures. Although there is bigger Vegas and mm-hmm. in the desert, and apparently a lot of fat people want to go to Vegas. I don't know. I think that would be. Great. I'm going to Vegas in December. Good for you. And I don't really care because I have no. I don't want to go to Vegas. Like everybody's right. like oh, Vegas, it would be so much fun, and I'm like, uh, no. It's 
It's all in what you make of it. Anyways. I'll just put it like that. That's the end. Anyways, contact us. Uh, uh, send us your, your hashtag FatBearWeek to us. Uh, you can do that various ways, such as CubsOutLoud.com. Shoot us an email, CubsOutLoud at gmail.com, or leave us a voicemail, sexy or otherwise, at 361-CUL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, slash X, uh, and YouTube, at CubsOutLoud, the appropriate place to URL. You can also join our Entourage chat. Uh, where Lloyd shared this NPR link uh, at bit.ly slash telegram dash col. You can join our entourage ca- or find out when we're planning on recording these shows. That's what I want to say. At bit.ly slash calendar dash col. Uh, get various accoutrements such as a classic Cubs Out Loud logo shirt, whatever the Cubs say or whatever the whatever says shirt. A consent is my foreplay shirt. You can get Plenty of different types of merchandise over at zazzlezazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Some of those designs were designed by Smashy. You can find more of his work at tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear. Uh, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud or send us a donation at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Please pop over to your favorite podcast and platform, like, comment, and subscribe, including on YouTube. In fact, challenge. To the audience, I would like you, whether you're just an audio podcast listener or, or a, a, a video watcher or a video listener, if you're one of those people, um, go, go to the Cubs Out Loud YouTube page. Go to this video and like it. Just like it. Just, just hit the thumbs up. I want to see how many we can get. Quick little thing. You don't have to watch the whole video. You can listen to it later. I don't care. Just just, it's like the video. In the meantime, you can find me anywhere in the internet. It's box, that box, puppy, box, cub, box, something or other. Box, cub is where you, where if you, uh, uh, if I allow you to. Uh, you can actually see all these links retweeted. You can also find the links on our website, cubsoutloud.com. So uh, there, there, there we are. Um, yeah. Damon? <laughs> if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as theatercub 79 on most very related sites, our pup underscore umbra on Twitter, our pup umbra 79 on Blue Sky, our uh, Facebook. Um, the Twitter and Blue Sky are not safe for work. For the safe for work stuff, you want to go to DMA Gamer 79. Gary. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. And with that, I need to find the thing. There it is. Take it on, everybody! Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye.